Hello, hello, hello. I am Alucard Night Raven, and welcome to my next review. And as you can see in front of us, my next review is DC Multiverse, The Dark Multiverse, The Grim Knight. Uh, this is a Batman who is not afraid to use guns and uh, kill all of his enemies. This is a Batman who, if I remember on his origin, when he saw his parents gunned down uh, by, um, was it Joe Chill? I'm for, I think that's the name. Uh, he picked up the gun that uh, he had dropped and shot him in cold blood. Um, so yeah. And ever since then has not had an issue with using guns. Unlike the Batman we know where most of his guns, well now, most of his guns um, were more of uh, for incapacitating instead of uh, uh, straight up murdering. <laughs> but we'll take a quick look at him in his packaging. Well, there is him in his packaging, and you can see he is loaded up. Got some guns there. Um, in back, you can kind of see some more guns. I think those go on the back of him. So, like, he's always equipped with plenty of weaponry. Oh, DC Multiverse, the Grim Knight. Same thing on the side with that see-through with the window on the side. DC Multiverse, McFarlane Toys, on this side, The Grim Knight, on the bottom, more uh, that typical jargon on the bottom, on the top, more of that window, and then on the back, we can see what is essentially his collector's card. And it's been the same on all most of these ones, but more figures to collect in the line. Uh, this is this. It's a pretty cool idea to to see a Batman where if he just straight up had no issue using guns, no issue whatsoever. When I come back, we'll have him out of the package and take a look at him up close. All right, and here we have the Grim Knight out of pardon me out of his packaging. And just like with the others, take a look at the card that comes with him. Very wonderful image on there. Um, looks like that might be... He's standing on um, a statue of the Batman Who Laughs. And then here is his bio or data file if you wish to read that. You can pause that now. Again, very cool. Yeah, and as you can see, he's um, very uh, armed up. <laughs> Before we get into his accessories, because one accessory goes on him directly, and then the other two are just guns or weapons that he holds, we'll take a look at him directly. So take a look at that head, and yet again another one that's sort of out of shape or but it's all right stuff happens <laughs> but yeah excellent excellent look at the grim knight if i could get him to stand so i can bring it up a little better and see very excellent detail on his jaw and his mouth of course the white for his eyes come down and it's like um, cloth handkerchief or kerchief or something around his neck you can kind of see the Batman symbol underneath all of this uh, some guns some more guns Let's see he's got uh, like military style pants and boots which I uh, actually wouldn't mind having a pair of these myself to wear around. <laughs> I love the style of military boots. Getting him to 
All right, you can see his bracers, some very excellent detailing there. Again, all wonderful detailing. I like how they even uh, bunched up the bottom of the pant legs for the his combat boots to go on. And even his combat boots have like those um, shuriken styles or style on them. I think that might even be just straps sticking out too. Hmm. Again, very cool. Uh, his knee pads have uh, the bat logo on them. Very cool there. Yeah. Articulation head is on a ball joint. Can turn all the way around. Can look up that far, down that far. Of course, some wiggle. Arms can come up that far. Can do full 360. We've got bicep swivel. We do have a little bit of back and forth. Um, I think that's a butterfly joint. I don't know. But bicep swivel, double jointed elbow. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, double jointed elbow. Hands can move up and down and can also uh, turn all the way around. Can lean back that far, forward that far with the ab crunch. Does have waist articulation, so that's very nice to see, of course. Of course, trying to get everything to stay in a decent position can be a bit of a pain. Legs can move forward that far back that far can only come out that far do have some thigh pivot not much and double jointed knee of course this top one for me is tight let's see what about this one here <laughs> this one you can see that top one's pretty tight so oh, I can't get that one to All right, and the foot can rotate, and it can move forward and move back only so much. Now, get him adjusted here. There we go. There we go. And for his accessories one he has is this big bunch of guns all strapped together and there is a peg right there and that's going to peg in to his back right there and it actually is going to go in pretty far and then that's going to give him that look So yeah, he uh, he's armed up pretty well. Now he's also got this SMG. Again, very cool. Looks really good. And this can go into the hand and then rotate it until that trigger finger is sitting in there. there is that and then his other weapon he's a pain is this grenade launcher in very cool looks really good nice drum for the grenades a uh, little bit out of shape but you know with plastic it tends to happen this one can go in here into his this hand and then rotate it until we get that. Actually, there we go. Nope. <laughs> yeah. And there we go. 
And there he is, all armed up. With all different kinds of weapons, like lots of different weapons. <laughs> and he looks good. I like him. Um, it's definitely an interesting take on uh, another Batman from uh, the Dark Multiverse. Um, this one, he... Um, I think it's Batman's uh, worry about... You know, going down the path of using um, um, deadly weapons, using using weapons that are, uh, you know, instead of incapacitating, incapacitating a, a villain or a mugger or whatever, it it'll end them. <laughs> so this this is a Batman who has no qualms with that, um, which is again very cool. I do like this. Um, if you're looking for them, uh, check online. There's, I know there's some online sites that do still have some of the um, older uh, DC Multiverse uh, figures. And if you're looking for him, hopefully you do find him. Uh, not having to pay too much more than uh, retail. But yeah, he's a pretty good figure. I like this one too. You know, I'm a big fan of these uh, Dark Multiverse figures of uh, Batman and um all of that so I'm, I'm hoping we see more like i'm really hoping we see more uh be released down the line because these are definitely very cool uh figures definitely really really like them um and i do recommend them i mean i i can't recommend these figures enough especially if you're a big batman fan like there's just no denying it's it's a great figure to get so i do recommend finding these so that is the Grim Knight. Again, I'm Alucard Knight Raven. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you all later.